But we knew if we went to the estate sale, we would want to spend more than we had or more than was sensible. So we sent our attorney and we gave him a maximum bid of $32,000. If we went over 32, we were done. And sure enough, we bought it. We bought it actually for $28,000. And we're in the restaurant business. And the reason we did this is because we knew that food in Italy was not the same as the Americanized version of Italian food in America. And, and we knew that as more and more Americans went to Italy, they would find out that the food in Italy is not just different, it's way better than what they could get in places that had uh, fake grapes ha hanging from the ceiling and an old Chianti bottle with a candle stuck in it. So we spruced up the restaurant, we wrote a new menu based on the food we knew uh, was Italian food the way it is in, in Italy, and we hired a great Italian chef. And having done all the things that we thought, I mean, if you read a book, that's what you have to do. And we did it. And so we opened the doors, waiting for all the people to pour, to pour in the doors because we're going to be greatly successful because we have this great food and we have great service and we have great everything. Nobody came. Nobody. I mean, business was really lousy. It was no better than it was the night we had been there. And this went on week after week after week, and about the end of the second month, I looked at our P&L and I said, oh my God, I'm going to lose all the money I just made selling Caswell Coffee Company. And all those years are down the, down the tubes. Because I got in the restaurant business, notwithstanding my father who said, don't go in the restaurant business, it's too tough a business, and you're going to lose all your money. And all I could think of is, damn it, Dad was right. <laughs> well, that really bothered me. Uh, and then a funny thing happened. One Wednesday night, a, uh, a woman came in alone named Lois Dwan. Lois Dwan was the most powerful food writer on the West Coast, and she wrote for the for by far the largest newspaper on the West Coast, the Los Angeles Times. And she just came in, had dinner, left. That was Wednesday. On Friday, her column came out in the Times, and she said that she went to this small restaurant on Melrose Street in Los Angeles and had, and it is not only is Chianti the best Italian restaurant in Los Angeles, but it very well may be the best restaurant of any kind in Los Angeles. From the very second that newspaper hit the racks, our phones started ringing with every producer, every director, every movie star, every celebrity you could possibly imagine fighting to get a seat at Chianti. And for 15 years, that was the most coveted restaurant seat in Los Angeles and it saved me.